Yo, what's good, my fellow hollows? It's your boy, the Hollow Panther, coming at you with another amazing what if. And this is going to be part four of What If Deku with the Red Hood. Real quick, I'm going to give you a quick recap about part three of What If Deku was Red Hood. So, what happened last part was Deku. Starfire told Deku that Jason was killed by the Joker and, ha and handed him Jason's, Jason's twin pistols. And he was mourning his death for a few while, so he didn't do any vigilante work. So after his little drought, he finally did some vigilante work. Deku found a girl, saw a girl with purple hair with, with ear jacks. Get about to get seduced, about to get raped by four four guards, not four guards, four 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 goons, th by four thugs, and he, he took care of them. And the girl introduced herself to be Kyoka Jiro, and then Deku sh showed her a little bit of the of. The difference between between white so told her that the world isn't black and white; it's a shade of gray. It showed her three 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 thugs freaking dicking down, raping a, 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 a raping this raping this woman. He said, "Okay, what?" And he asked her, "What you gonna do?" Are we just gonna sit there and allow these allow these met these guys to gang rape her, or we do something then and there? And Jerry said, "Why can't we just call the police or the pros? If we do, if we call the police or the pros, they gonna be already she, they will already be done with her. And the only thing they gonna ask for is a statement, and then say we find." We probably define that guy and then end up a few hours then a few they do, they do their little search it'll be long gone gone by now they're doing it to the next person so the best thing we should do is take them out right then and there and Jira understand what De what Ducky was talking about so she said all right I understand she said so you gonna take care of them is that so you never asked. Then he took care of the three guards, the three the three goons that saved the woman. And just felt something like, wow, he really knew what he was doing. And the woman was saved. Then or in the ten month uh, training, Deku had been training Jiro. Basic hand to hand combat, mar good marksmanship with a gun. Her, she said she enjoyed the rifle the most, and she she called Deku after the the U.S. after the after the the entrance exam. She said a few days after the entrance exam, she said she pat she passed she made it to U.S. She in class one A, so. She said, "I will call you anytime. Anything, anything big happen or important happen." So, Jiro agreed to be Deku's mole in the in UA. So, that's that's the end of the recap. Now, I'm gonna give y'all part four of what if Deku was the Red Hood. So, so. Uh, so I'm gonna do the perspective of Jiro. I'm gonna do Jiro's perspective for this part. This part for now. For this uh, the story for now. So Jiro just walking into the classroom, getting ready for her first day at UA. Jiro looked at her phone. And she saw the her man. The, her text I got a text message from the Red Hood. She said, "Have a great day at school." 
and keep me posted of anything and anything happens. She said she texted him back said, Okay. Then put her phone away and she started headed off to school. I good for a few hours a few a few minutes a few minutes later she made it to the school entry. She said, Well, it's it's time it's time to for my first day of UA. She walked she walked in the class into into the school, grab a grab a bro, grab a I'll call a pro show, a map to the school. She looked at the map. She said, "Looking where class one A is." She finally found class one A. Her eyes wide. Said, "Whoa, what we got? I'm like Jesus, are we having gi- so? We, are, my my classmate is a giant. We gonna have giants in our class?" Why the door so damn big? She she said, "All oh, right, uh, walking this door is gonna be. This is my first step step as a hero." Water. She opened the door. See, already see a few people in the classroom already, and she seeing she seeing either arguing with with Baka go tell telling him to put. Put his feet down the tape off the his feet off the desk. Jero just said, oh, "It's too early to be, to, for them to be yelling." She just went to her desk, put you know, her headphones, just listen to music. So after a while, she after a while, I thought was behind was behind was behind. Or Rock could talk to Kendall. She said, "If you're here to make friends, pack your, you should leave." They uh, both turned around like, "What? The? But who are?" Mm-hmm. Turn around and said, "Huh, interesting." This, and he's, are, they, are they drinking his alp. Apple squeeze. He got it's like my name is Shoto Hazawa. I'm going to be your homeroom teacher for this year. So, welcome. He said, "Welcome to U A High, UA High School." Blah, blah blah. Like, all right, boy. Before we sit, before before you act up, no, before we act, we're not going to be going to the the orientation. Oh, let me switch to our little picture. Like before, before you act, no, we're not going to the orientation. He, 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 he took out something out of his sleeve bag. Put these, put these, go, put these gym uniform on and meet me outside for a quirk, quirk assessment test. Derek just got up and grabbed, grabbed the, grabbed the, the gym uniform. He said. As I was saying, follow the purple haired girl, girl, the girl with the ear jack example, and, and get get your ass in the locker room, and get your change, and meet me in, and I'll meet me outside. Everybody else grabbed her, their their gym, their gym uniform. So Gerald was getting dressed. She taking her shirt off, beat up, and was like, what? A girl with pink skin, big hair with pink skin, walked over to me to Jiro and say, "Wow, you, you really are fit. You really are, you really are fit. Aren't you? I can't believe you have my abs. Like I can't believe you already have abs." Or Jiro looked at her chest like, "Oh yeah, I've been working out the ten months of training during my tra- month of tra- the training here." So oh, my name is Jiro. My name is Kyoko Jiro. What's your name? And me, the girl with Pink hair, pink skin. Say, oh, I'm Mina. I'm Mina Asia. You just call me Mina. Well, nice to meet you, here. Um, uh, Mina. So, she, Mina. So, any in our class? Like, um, we just, um, uh, here's, uh, we just got here, and you start, you already talk about this, huh? <laughs> she get put her on a gym, you know. She, she overheard. So I like, excuse me.
she she put she peeped the the hole in the wall. Like, oh, they, hold on. She she put her ear jack in the hole, put it in Manella's eye. Well, was screaming in pain. Like, like, okay, she was saying, oh snap, that must be the that girl, the girl with the ear jack. That must be Jira's earphone jack. It must be that new, that girl, the purple hair girl's earphone jack. The mama said, uh, stay. So, no problem. I'll just, just hate pervs. Then everyone, all the girl, rest of the girls got dressed. Mama passed the whole up uh, using her. The whole been passed up. So, so, then they made it outside. As I threw Baka the ball, said, "Here, you got first place on the, on the, on the, on the entrance exam." So, what you highest throw? He said, "Sing, sing in canon." Then he said, "Throw the ball with by, with use by using your quirk." Akago said his signature words. He died. Then he threw the ball, and he got the same number in canon. And for for you guys, ask all my still didn't chew his successor of a one for all, and he's he's still looking. So, so we gotta skip through the rest of the exam that we should, for the final score. So, so Todoroki has first, Momo got second, Bakugo got third. Let's say, say Shoji got four. I'm, I'm going to make Jiro has got like six, Ida got fifth, et cetera, et cetera. And the person with the lowest score was Mineta. And as I was told Mineta packed this thing and he spelled, everybody was shocked, even Momo. He said, wait, you wasn't kidding? This, he was for real? Like, was like the rest of y'all could grab your stimulus and we'll call it, we're going to call it, they call the rest of the day. Everybody grabbed their siblings and got they got chains. And everybody say, "Oh, let's hang out." They want they want to hang out. Let's hang out somewhere. Like the jurors said, "Oh, I can't. I have work. I have work today. I worked at my parents." So, okay. Then Jerry went back home. Suddenly she he got she had a call from the red hood like uh, I said so how are you this that was your first day in your way Jero said oh, it's fine it was fine my t- I had a razor head ass on my t- own teacher though and he made us do a, a, a quirk assessment test and I and I ace I got fifth sadly I got fifth place. The place in the in the t- in the quirk test. Then, so that means they have pe- so that means there are f- four other more people stronger than you, so ha- or have better quirks than you. Remember what I taught you: analyze your analyze your analyze your enemies. Remember what I told you about writing writing. Writing down people's quirks, so so you can get a better a better advantage of how how their quirks works. But and Jero said, said, "I know what I know what you taught me." It's like, all right, so you give me some some information about all your classmates' quirks and abilities and their strengths and weaknesses. She said, I understood. She said, I understood. She walked, 
as he walked, she hung up the phone and walked, and continued walking to her, to the, to the, the music shop. So, gonna do, now I'm gonna switch to Izuku special real quick. It's nighttime, Izuku doing some nighttime patrolling, taking out some, some petty thugs, thugs, and, Only Dick, so the red hood running for, with a woman with long purple hair with a whip, like, huh? Like, well, 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 who are you? Who are you supposed to be? Hold on, let me pause. She said, oh, well, well, who are you? It seemed like you are, oh, you seem like that vigil thing I'll be hearing about in the news lately. Pull out the twin pistol and say, Who the hell are you? No, see. Well, let me introduce myself. I'm the rated R hero, Midnight. But, oh, Midnight, huh? I heard about you. Yeah. Sorry, my Japanese is a little rusty. It's like, oh, so you're not from here. Yeah, I am, like, but I'm half American, half Japanese, so I was bo- I was born and raised in Gotham. Like, huh? Goth- G- Gotham, huh? Gotham City. Yeah, I heard that place with a with a hellhole. Yep, it is. But it's my hellhole. So what are you gonna do? Try to arrest me for act of vigilantism? Huh? You just put a gun. So like you should understand that you 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 and I here you know people in the ship more in the sh- me at the night here you should understand people the the rape but. Care about the big bitlings and stuff. What about the small little cri- little thugs raping wo- wo- raping women, giving giving people drugs and, and all that and sex trafficking? Who's stopping them? Who's stopping them? Huh? Answer me, midnight. Who are who? Who's stopping those people? We'll say the police. The police are doing. Sh- How about the cops are, are dirt. Some some of the cops are dirty too. I don't know how how, how many times I've I found a dirty cop gra- giving money to, get, was given money by the leader of these of these fucking thugs. Sometimes you. It, sometimes I even see dirty here, dirty pros. But they ain't the high ranking pros. They, they just the lower people, <laughs> the pros in the lower ranks. I see just getting hand off money from the thugs, trying to keep them from getting arrested or caught. That just pissed me. The that just pissed me off. Yeah, they all pros. Not, Midnight just told told the red hood. All, all pros are not like all, all pro here is not like that. Like, oh, really? Yeah, you could say that, but you grab on the midnight and say, follow me if you if you dare. And let's say, all right. So Deku, Deku show midnight alleyway whips with a, with a man, with one thug raping a, a raping a, raping a 16 year old girl. She was just full of tears, crying, screaming. It hurts. It hurts. Midnight would try. What oh, about the? It's like, she, I, her eyes wide, holding her, put her hands in her mouth, her mouth like this poor girl. She, no one has stopped. So how are you gonna do it? I've been. I, 
like uh, he looked at he looked at oh watching that oh I'm watching this later. So he said, so how are you gonna do that? Are you gonna just gonna use your quirk and arrest them? How <laughs> And arrest them. He happy just break up, get bail, get. You know how dirty these cops are. I already told you how dirty the cops are. Happy just arrest them. Shows that you arrested them. They put, after a while, drove off and uncuffed them. They said, Make, next time don't get caught by the pros. And midnight say that's you assuming that that's gonna happen. They're they're the right way for ev for any for everything in Red Hood. <sighs> hey, midnight, let me tell you something that my that my mass that my father always told me. You can't stop crying. That you never understood. I'm gonna, I'm controlling it. You try to ruin them by fear. But how many people are not afraid? I'm doing what you want. You couldn't. I'm taking them out. Those are the phrase he taught me. Because people like those do not deserve to live. Or deserve to be arrested. They're gonna... How many they ain't afraid of you? They, you have to pull a gun at you. What are you going to do? Use your little whip and whip the gun off of them? A whip, a gun is more faster than a whip. All you need to do is pull the trigger and boom, you dead. Just listen. Just heed my word at midnight. The world isn't black and white. Is a shade of gray. He, that could just, uh, just aim his pistol and bang, shot the shot the thug in the head, getting allowing him to fall back or get getting them off the girl, taking his dick off the girl. The girl turned around and said, "That went to the girl to the teenage girl and say, hey, you okay?'" You can't hit. She said, no, no. Okay. She, she bent over and said, okay, take, take advantage of me. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He, he, put, he put the twin pistols away. Like, whoa. You don't, you don't have to do that. You saved. I just saved you. He's like, hey, hey, pro. Go, so, hey, hey, midnight. Go, go comfort this girl. My like, midnight came with the girl. Like, Look, it's okay. You're safe now. It's like, Eyes wide, it's like, bro, here on midnight. She put her back on, and her, she put her bra back on. She hugged her, like, thank you for. Like, so she started crying on her. Midnight looked at the hood, she, suddenly he was gone. Like, this is not going to be the last time I'm going to see. See him, is it? Is it? So, so I'm going to switch back to Jiro's perspective again. So, Jiro was sitting in class, thinking who's going to be the, who's going to be replacing Mineta in Class One A, seeing the empty desk. He's like, mm. Suddenly, Aizawa came saying, "Before we start class, I want to introduce introduce you the." Our new stu the new student that gonna be replacing Manetta in class one A. So suddenly a boy with bl with purple hair and purple eye came in the room saying, hmm. so he said, huh? So these are my new classmates, huh? Yeah, as I all said, class. This is Shinzo. He was in. He was in general studies. Now he he got he went to the he came to the hero core. 
hope you get welcome and all that other stuff. All right, it says they'll take that empty seat over there. It should have said, all right, all right, Santa. Then the Tinder went to the, the empty seat. Then they just started doing regular school, Japanese school stuff. And suddenly, it was time for the hero tra- course training. Finally, All Might said, I am here, coming in like a hero. Everybody said, whoa, it's All Might. Oh, well, he's in his Silver Age outfit. <laughs> then he explains the combat. Well, looking the part, and then he popped out all, all the, all their hero outfits. Let's see, a nice fight. Tra- I was all psyched doing fight training. So everyone had the same outfit in the, in the cannon. And single outfit was this. Was this mine? Was this outfit? Cause he did during his ten months of training, he did train with, with I thought uh, did found him and trained him during the ten months. Gave him this capture scarf and gave him the technology. And, and he got the voice, the voice regulator from when he became when he, when he became a part of Class One A. The Shinzo came out with his. Everybody saw, saw, saw Shinzo costume. He said, "Whoa, man, that looks awesome." So, yeah, thanks. So all my explain, explain the rules on the on the fight training. It was, it was a team. Was a team. Was a team battle. It was hero versus villains. So. So Tor's still in the class one A, but kind of place Midoriya spot in the class one A. So, so Team A was Kendo and Oraka, and Team D was still Baka Ida. So I'm I'm gonna skip that saying the hero team did one that because Kendo just karate shot Baka goes. Baka go in the back of the neck, and 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 Kendo grab Ida using her big fist, and Oraka touched the bomb. So, so I want to go to the team of Giajiro. They Jiro told where the bomb was at. So they got and they fight again. What's that they fight against? Wait, did they fight against Total Roki and his group? So I I don't remember, so I I'm gonna say he, he, they fought uh they fought Tokiyami and and it's set it's Sato Sugar Rush. The, so they hurt the Kamnari using the electro hand, then that both both Tokiyami and Sato touching the bomb, giving the hero team the win. Then Kamnari was said, not, she said, not bad, like, I um, said, oh, oh, okay. The Carbonari started flirting with Jiro, say, um, I'm not interested. In her head, like, there's someone else in my heart. It's touching her ear jack. She just walked. Like, like, and Carbonari said, I like a girl when they play hard to get. So, so, for the rest of the battle, you can use your imagine. You can put the places in in your in your imagination. Then imagine, then imagine what how they will. So I'm easily gonna say. 
So, for Shinzo, she, he was teamed up with Momo, facing Todoroki and, and Sero. He easily just used his... Um, uh, Shinzo just used his quirk on Sero. They told him, told him to trap Todoroki with his tape, and he did that. And he just t- tagged the bomb in the Hero Team 1. So... Get to the next day, so so we're gonna switch to Zuka's perspective again at night. He was doing his patrol, then he ran into midnight again. And said, hmm. He's like, Zuka said, oh, We need to stop running into each other. I'm like, I got questions to ask you, Mr. Red, Red Hood. Why are you doing this? Why, why become a, why be a vigilante? Why couldn't you just become a pro, become a pro hero, and do this stuff? <laughs> pro hero ha- is st- is bound by the law of oh, all that other stuff. <laughs> For me, with a body count like mine, no way in hell I'm gonna be a pro hero. It's not that easy with a body count like mine. So you expect me to just become a, give up my my vigilante my vigilante and just become a pro like you, like the number one hero all might. You just don't make me laugh. Like, I mean, I say the other, the other way, just ki- just just killing thugs, and j- or break, or just breaking their arms off. They're the, the right way. Oh, the right way, huh? Yeah, if I do the the right way, look, I lost my uncle in in Gotham. I lost my uncle, and I lost my adopted father. What did the police? They they still. I took care of the first, the person who killed, who killed my uncle, but the, the police constantly arrested this guy over, put him in Arkham Asylum over and over again. He constantly escapes. So I'm going to do what the Batman should have, should have done all these years. I'm going to kill, I'm taking him out. Who? Midnight say, "Who are you try? Who are you gonna take out? Red Hood, who? Who killed your your adopted? Did you, did you put Santa's fist on the on the on the wall? He said, the Joker. I'm taking out. I'm gonna take out the Joker. That's who I'm taking out. Midnight eyes wide. He said, you think you're gonna take the Joker, huh?" You think you could take out? He he the, he belongs in the loony in the nut house. in in the nut house. A son or a son. Okay. Yeah, he plays good. He keeps. Look, we he how many times I. He's been put in Arkham Asylum like four. But all these times, they constantly put the Joker in Arkham Asylum. And he constantly escapes. When I see him again, he's not going to Arkham Asylum. Or going to prison. Or going to Rikers. I'm killing, I'm taking them out once and for all for my, for my father. So that's why you're doing this. 
You're doing this for revenge. Because the Joker took your father away from you. Your adopted father away from you. He killed my biological parent using this, sp spraying the whole city with laugh, with laugh, with laughing serum. They died by laughing. My my biological my biological father saved me before I before I die, I joined their they shared their same faith. I was I was alone in the out I was alone for in the streets trying to survive trying to survive on the little scraps of food I found. I've been doing a lot of this stuff. I steal bread to, to eat and survive. Thank to the Red Hood. He sit in the rest of the, to the Red Hood. The rest of the outlaw. They they found me and raised me and trained me. No no pros and Gar and Gotham came came and rescued me. No, 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 not Batman or Nightwing, or even that, or even that little bird, even that little bird, even that little bird, Rob didn't save me. I was alone, only the Red Hood, Arsenal, and or, Luke was about to say Starfire, but she was, she became. She was well known as the leader of the Team Titans, so he kept his mouth shut. So they saved me. Losing my losing my uncle from the from the black bass. So I blew his head off with a grenade. Now, now I heard Joker shot my shot shot my father. My adopted father with an RPG. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna freaking put. I'm gonna freaking put, shoot him with the pistol, with my father's pistols, and, and the Joker once and for all. So. He straight up said, "I'm done talking." He, he just grabbed his grabbed his hook for before he could grapple away. Midnight grabbed his arm, saying, "I'm not gonna allow you to to take this thing, to take this path. This path is too. You're not gonna. If you keep going down this path, you're gonna end up killing yourself. You do have a amazing quirk, but you're gonna." Let me tell you something. I'm not. I don't have a quirk. I'm quirkless. I'm still kicking that. I'm still doing what you pro should have should should do a long time ago. Kicking out these freaking crooks. Oh, by killing them. By killing them, becoming a you becoming a murderer. You're a murderer. You kill people. Just for revenge. I'm not doing it just for revenge. I'm doing it because people deserve. I'm not doing it because of vengeance. I'm doing it because because it's because of the right. Because people deserve to, to be happy. Because people are getting people in this daytime here and don't understand the night. What happened at night? Drug trafficking. Human trafficking, rape, rape, rob, rob, bank, house robberies. They don't understand that. So that's why I'm I'm here to show them that they should fear someone.
Oh, so you're going to be the the next Batman, huh? Of Japan? No. I'm not going to be the next Batman. I'm going to be the Red Hood. I'm the Red Hood of Japan. After I'm done dealing with dealing with these crooks in Japan, I'm moving back to Gotham and him and take because Gotham needs its Red Hood. Cuz Gotham is Red Hoodless. And they need their red hood in Gotham. <laughs> That's a good story, you know. But if we see each, if we see each other again, I, I'm sorry, Red Hood. I have to arrest or act of vigilantism. <sighs> he smiled. He smiled. Said, <laughs> he, t- he pulled. He went. He went. He so cl- He put. He he pushed midnight in close. Said, <laughs> "Catch me if you can." He he let go of her. Let go of her. Then gra- he grappled away. Then you want. We're gonna switch to. D- Damien's Damien West perspective it, back in Gotham. Damien was taking care of a few still pit in, uh, on the edge. You're like, but the, uh, the Batman went down. Like, what the what the problem, Robin? What the problem, Robin? Uh, I feel like this ain't over yet. This ain't over. I feel like we missing son. Like, how many times I had to. The Red Hood has been dead, but what about the other Red Hood? Who wh- who is the other? We know the first Red Hood is Jason Todd, but there's there was another one. You say you saw you fought you fought the Red Hood, but you saw another Red Hood saving that Red Hood. What happened to one that saved the, that Red Hood was Jason was Jason Todd. Hmm. Oh, you you ever thought of that, huh, Father? Hmm. Yeah. I, what? I did. But we lost the trail. He not. He not. He nowhere in Gotham. Jason, Damien. He. So. It mean one or two what thing. Jason t- told him that I was hot on his trail and told him to move to a different country or or the, this new Red Hood is laying low. We could talk more back th- in the bath cave. They both got back in the bath cave. He said, he walked in like, so, hello, Grayson. Oh, 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 Damien, you here? How things like it's fine. He said, "See, you looked at look to see Oracle." So, so or the so barber, we we got on that new red where his location at, uh, like Batman. Oracle said, like Batman said, he's not in, he ain't in Gotham no more. Uh, on the money, this new that new Red Hood not in Gotham no more. He's probably in another country, but we don't know where. Then they turn on the the news, on the Japanese news. She put she put thing. They saying there's they were act, recently there were mur- this thing. There's a calling themselves the Red Hood that taking out 
picking up crooks and and saving people. And people say how new, the news, the headline of the news was, is Red Hood a hero or or just a thug or a thug? They get in there, they're saying, "Yo, I think Red Hood just just a petty thug." I'm, was is a hero or or a murderer? He said, "Yo, I think the Red Hood is just some just a mur uh, just a murder, just murdering people just for the hell of it." Other people say, "No, Red Hood just Red Hood is saving the saving saving people, but he doing his he do it his own way, doing what the 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 these pros should should do along taking them out." Damien's I Y say, so that where you at? You in Japan, huh? Dick saying, calm down, calm down, calm down, Damien. Like, no, he's in Japan. He's in Japan. I need. To, I'm going to. I'm going to end him and bring him back to Gotham and wreck. Put him in Arkham Asylum once and for all. And no, you're not gonna, you or father ain't gonna stop me. It's like Damien, like Damien put, took off his mask. Say Damien, the path you're taking not gonna end well. Think, think before you, you do something, do something crazy. Like, yeah, I have to do this, father. You can't stop me. Yeah. I'm coming with you like no father I had to do this on my own and you got some needs Batman to take to take out those crooks so Amy has grabbed grab the hook the, not, the bat wing and flew, it flew off to Japan he was about to take the bat wing and uh, when you say huh, you can't no way in hell I'm letting you do this on your own. You're going to be too reckless in Japan. I'm coming with you. And Amy said, I don't need your help, Grayson. But I, I'm the only one. To, you still, too, you are only 15, Damien. And I'm old enough to fly the jet, the bat wing. She said, I said, fine. So, both, both, both Nightwing and Robin were flying to Japan to capture the Red Hood. So we're going to skip back to Jiro's perspective. perspective. Jiro was just sitting down, sitting down at lunch. They always chose the class, the class, the class president in the class office. So oh, Kendo and Momo was was at the class president and the vice president. Suddenly, alarm was hit, ring was hit. You saw everybody was running out, of, getting shoved and put. Suddenly, you know, suddenly Kendo used her big fist to grab him. He said, "Calm down, it's just the media." But we got all we got all my in this, in the, all, other pro heroes here. Everybody started calm down, leave. Got up. It's like, ah. it's like oh, that's weird. I, I thought those bars was made were stronger than that. She, she after school she went to the gate. Like, huh? That's weird. It looked like they've been decayed. They've been melt. Like been some type of quirk. Some type of decay, being like melted, like look like some body quirk. Like use their quirk to melt, like decay the bar. So that's how the the press got in. Interesting. She wrote. She called. She called the red. It's like she said. He said, "Oh, what is it? 
with the Jiro. The Jiro said there was, there was an incident in school. There was an incident in school and one of the I heard about uh, about the press thing. Yeah, I heard about. Yeah, that. But it was a false. But I, I came to check how how the gates of UA. Uh, I saw. I seen one of the. I see one of the. One of the. One like this. One of the bars was decayed. The bolts were decayed. We was was melted off or decayed, decayed into ashes. So that's how they they managed to get in the in the campus. Like, a decay. Um, interesting. Uh, I keep, uh, I, I see, uh, I keep my, like, keep me, t- all right, uh, I see what, what I go, I'm going to find out who had this decay quirk, just keep me posted, all right, and Jerry said, all right, then, we're going to skip to the day of the USJ attack, Jerry told Deku, the, uh, I don't know what's going to go on. Just stay, stay near the U.S. the entrance of the new, of the U.S.J. and and wait. And if something bad happens, come right in. And we to say, all right, I'm on it. So they were just waiting at the entrance of the U.S.J. They were no worry in. Kirishima always, oh cool, I don't be fake. We already got we got fake villains and and I thought I said no, there ain't fake villains. The real, the real, the the real, the real deal. And he told thirteen to protect the kids. They happened in Canyon, and Deku saw Ida running running out the USJ like all right. Def- All right, that's signal. I could grab her to the the USJ entrance, shattering, shattering the mirror, shattering the glass. As I said, what the hell? Suddenly, that could just pulled out a twin pistol, start shooting at shoot that four out of the villains landing. They started popping lead to the rest of the. Vi- it's like, huh? See, like you need help, raise her head. I thought I said red, he's like red hood. I thought I told you if I catch you, if I see you again, I'm gonna capture you. Suddenly, another villain about to shoot Aizawa in the head, like, watch out. Then, boom, he shot the villain in the head, like, next time, watch your surrounding guys, I raise her head. Like, uh, what? Then the red stars. There was just attacked. Body was sent to the different the areas. Then we got time to skip when Zawa was getting his ass beat by the. the everybody got getting by his ass beat by the by the Nomu. And so as our arm was decayed. I mean, and Luke said, so that's what the guy who decayed the bars. And let's say, so you did, so you detay the bar in in the U in U.S. gates, and you probably stole some files some files to, that led you to this to this attack, didn't you? And Shigaraki said, like, wow, you're the only. 
wow. I can't believe you was the only one to figure that out. So the press was a, your your diversion to grab date important information from UA. I gotta say that it's pretty smart, but stupid. It's smart to use that as your diversion. And I I would say stop complimenting the villain and take and, and apprehend them. He said, all right. Then he, he, he jumped on a gnome who slant the grenade into his, in the gnome's brain. Pull, two grenades into the gnome's brain. Pulling the pin. Then bam. The blue explode the gnome who's head off with the grenade. Shigaraki screamed out, no move. The Deku uh, punched Shigaraki in his gut. Causing him to cough up. Then he punched him in the chin, all the the hand that fell off his face. He's like, "You bastard! I'll kill you!" I could just grab, grab a twin, grab his pistol, drew out his pistol, and then shot him in his shoulder. Like ah, they shot him both in the shoulders. They put the pistol into his head. As I said, as I said, what are you doing? I told you to apprehend him. There are better ways than just killing, killing them, Hood. <sighs> I'll be telling I have to t- keep telling you, you people, you can't stop crying. That's you guys would never understood. I'm controlling it. You think you would rule them by fear, having the people who aren't afraid. Like, I'm doing what you, you, you heroes and hear and train what. Won't do. I've taken them out. They Luke pulled the tr- trigger and killing shit and killing Shigaraki. Korgiri said, "No, Master Shigaraki." Huh. Korgiri tried to charge that Luke. Luke try, pulled out his pistol, trying to shoot at Korgiri, but it went through him. Like, huh. I think I put it off the portal guy. Finally, Shigaraki said. Corey Geary says that he he suddenly a not a cry on the window came both 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 Robin and Nightwing came out like Red Hood I came to bring you back to Gotham and her rest put you back put you in Arkham Asylum like and and Red Hood said well 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 the boy wondered. I thought you were in Gotham. What the hell are you doing in Japan? I, I saw the reports that you, a Red Hood, was in Japan taking out cr- criminals. So I, I came here. I came here to take take you back to Gotham and put you in Arkham Asylum where you b- belong. Like, and I came here just to keep him in check. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Alright. I thought I didn't have to kill a I thought I didn't have to kill a kill a rock kill you guys. But you left me no choice. <laughs> the, the Red Hood pulled out his knife start and Damien pulled out his sword. They started clashing. They clashing clashing their blades. They could kick side kick Damien in his gut, pulling pushed back. Suddenly, the other pros, Luke, you saw midnight like shit. At the end, at the end, he threw a smoke bomb. He threw a smoke bomb in the girl. He threw a flash. He pulled. He tossed. He pulled. He tossed something in the air. He's like he see. They see pins, ten pins already on his fingers. So, so I'll catch you. I'll catch you pearls later. Then suddenly, suddenly ten flashbang set off at the time simultaneously, bright, blinding both Nightwing, Damien, and the rest of the pros. He said, 
cast you around. She's, he went to midnight saying, I'll cast you around midnight. <laughs> then he grappled, grappled, he grappled it out and it left. Suddenly, everybody got their, he said, damn it, we got, I let him go. Everybody got their clear visions, like, damn it, he's gone. The Damien punched, suddenly a, a, suddenly a villain about to attack, attack Damien. Damien just got punched. Got checked on the back of his blit, the back of his katana. Then she, then she just sort of like, damn, he got away. The night would say, calm down, calm down, Damien. Calm down, Robin. You need to... the... He went to Isaiah and said, oh, I've been a racer at Nightwing. Why are you, why are you not, why are you two and ain't. And at and at Gotham, like like Damien said, we hear we heard that the Red Hood was back in Japan, and we came to take him take him in, take him back, and put him in prison. I thought I said how many? So you've been killed in, in Gotham, and now doing it in Japan. Like that's right. Then they've been talking and talking and talking. So, so after the two days off, I thought I told him about the the sports festival, and I'm starting. I said you had two weeks off, do your training. So, so prepare yourselves. So during the two weeks, both Jiro and Nozuku were doing training. Were training. And Dugu was doing his patrol. He saw, and he saw Shin. He he walked between, he walked he ran into Shinzo at night. You're like he said. He said, "Hey kid, what are you doing here in, at this late at night?" Shinzo said, "Oh, I'm just doing some. Oh, uh, I'm doing some training." There was a parkour training. What? You, I'm just doing patrol. I'll just some some patrol. Come on. I'll, I'll, it's that. It's. I said, you know what you're doing is wrong. Killing. It's like. You don't understand, don't you? Like I keep, like I told him, like I told you guys, you can't stop crying, man. You need to control the crime. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The world ain't in black and white; it's a shade of gray. Follow me. So, so. Red Hood showed Shindo the true meaning. A bunch of people getting robbed. There was a girl about to get Shindo eyes wide. I was like, no. <sighs> like I said, this was this really happening at night. They so went to the to the thug like it's so easy to enter, to take care of them like one, like in one, two, bang. Shot the guard in the, the thug in the head. Three. Easy on, easy on one, two, three to end them. That's, that's a, and the heroes are just not. It, people, the daytime heroes are not even worry about them. It's only the nighttime heroes are trying their best to do what they can, but the only, the only one person. So. What you gonna do about this shit? About this kid? Are you gonna just just gonna sit there and allow them to do what they want? Or are you gonna tell me to? Or are you gonna do something for, with your life and take them out? Suddenly, Shinzo saw another a, a, girl, a woman about to get robbed. Both Shinzo and Red Hood. Shinzo hand him the pistol and said. What you gonna do? 
we gonna do? Since a little, little sh- hand shaking, hand was shaking. He was scared. He didn't want to kill nobody, but he sees how much the woman was in pain. So Shizzo took a deep breath and bang, shot the thug in the head. His hand was shaking. She's like, she looked down and like, thank you, sir. She ran off. So Shinzo went on his knees like, look, you said, that's, it's okay. The rest of said, it's okay. The first kill always the, t- the hardest. But you get used to it. You get numb to it. Come on, let's get you, let's get you out of here. So, De- so Deku got Shinzo out of there. Then though, suddenly Shinzo will start barfing up, start barfing like, that's okay, man. That's what happened to me when I first killed somebody. Shinzo asks, how can you do this every in an everyday basis, every, killing people? Huh? Does this, does this, does this feeling go away? Feeling of guilt, like, no, like, no, you don't. People you're killing, you you don't know if they have a family or they have a family or a pet or anything. But you need to understand, they chose this path to becoming becoming villains or crooks or thugs. They chose this path. And now it's our job to end them and take them out. So, what you say, Shinzo? I mean, what you say, kid? You want to join me? And take, and take these, take these, uh, take these villains, take these criminals out. Shinzo looked at the Red Hood, and he understands what he mean, what, what he mean, what, what did, what he mean, and he understands his idea. He understands a bit. He said he grabbed his hand and said, yeah, of course, I'm I'm in. And I, my name is Shinzo. It's like, okay, Shinzo. Let's be we'll begin your training. And I'm gonna treat I, I saw what you're doing with, with that scarf. It was it's pretty it's decent though. But I'm gonna teach you something better than a scarf. He said, I'm gonna teach you better than a meat little Oh, not that picture. It'll teach you better than a measly little scarf. So, so during the the last, he was training Shizo in the art in the art of arch of archery. Like so, so you can get better at become making him the going to make him the new arsenal. So, Shizo was just shooting this bow. Like, don't, and make sure you take archery class so you can get better at the bow too, kid. But all right, so Shinzo was still doing art. He was only he was decent at the bow. So during the two week of training, he was he took archery class to get to improve his archery skills. So after he became like he now Green Arrow or Arsenal level of good, he's in the mid. He in the beginning of, of the Green Arrows of, of Green Arrow of the Arrow of the Arrowverse Green Arrow skills of of the of the of the bow. So, in this, so we we gonna so. I, so I'm gonna blaze into the sports fest- festival. So Todoroki got first place, Bakugo got second place, and I'm gonna say who got third. Okay, I'm gonna say Jiro got third place. And at the end of the sports, and Kaminari still try to flirt with. J- but Jiro, she, Jiro keep telling them I'm not. In, she ain't interested. Well, he either went. 
heard that his brother got paralyzed. He got got paralyzed by the hero kill Steen. And hold on. So Ida got a call from his mom saying his Tensei got injured by the hero kill Steen. So Ida was on edge and wanted to take revenge on his brother for his brother. So Thurn, everybody had the same hero names like in canon, but with Shinzo pulling his bow ah, pulling his bow in and at his hero at his hero gear. Chose that Zuku would finally respect his his archery skills, but he needed more training. He said, "Can you do me a favor? And take the name, take the mantle of Arsenal, because that was my uncle's my uncle's hero name, and a world the world needs a new Arsenal. I think you could be the new Arsenal, Shinzo." And Shinzo nodded, and Shinzo went to the podium, to the podium saying, the archer, the, the archery hero, the archery hero, Arsenal. And Midnight said, oh. said oh. So you take the mantle of, a, take the mantle of the, of Arsenal, the, the, of the deceased Arsenal. He was a good hero. You knew the I hope you knew the name proud. Shouldn't say right. I will. Everybody say, wait, why you become calling yourself Arsenal? You don't even use the bow. Arsenal was the arch was the archer. You don't you don't even use the bow. Then the, so, uh, then the Shin so told Momo actually all to make him a bow, make him a bow and like a, a bow and an arrow. Momo made it that Baku said, "You can't even use you not you can't even use the bow." The Shinzo, Shinzo drew the bow, dropped the bow, and, and launched the the arrow at Bakugo, hitting him straight in the in the head. He said, and "Shinzo said, if that was the real arrow, I would I would have killed you." Bakugo said, "You let him." Like, I was like, okay, Arsenal makes sense. Then, so we're gonna skip to the night of just the Hosu attack. All the heroes were taking care of the Nomu. Again, Zuku, Red Hood saw Ida in the alleyway, like about to get stabbed by the hero killer. And the Zuku shot, shot the blade, shot the 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 sword out out of the out of the hero killer Stain's hand. Stan said, "Who the hell did that? It was that was me. Well, well, well. Guess what? Guess what? He looked at her like Re really. So you, so you went. So you went after the hero killer because he hurt injured." Cause it'll happen to your brother, didn't you? So he was there. He, uh, he said he deserved to die. I, he's my, he's mine. He killed. He paralyzed. He paralyzed my brother. He's going to pay. Oh, suddenly the the, the paralyzed. He, he got up. He said he's not. He said, "Oh, okay." He just, he just threw him he threw him the pistol like and he held the other one like do it. Like, do it then kill kill the hero kill stain right here right here that right then and here, now right here and now kill him like you say you say you want to kill the hero killer huh? you say you want to kill stain right kill him right here and now being are you all talk? You all, you all talk, but you are not doing. You all bark. You all bark and no bite. Are you just kill him right? 
then and there. They take vengeance on your brother. Do it. Do it. Do it, Ida. Kill the person who paralyzed your brother. You got you only got a few minutes to for the pros or the other heroes come. Just end his end him. End him. If you won't, he pulled out his pistol, or I will. Suddenly, sting by the throat, his little the little knife that on Zuku shot Red has shot stained in his arm saying it's, and it is either say no he's mine it's like the, quit saying that you keep saying that but you're not kill you didn't pull the trigger yet he he shot him in the other arm so he can't draw any more blades and the pistol that said, you've got 10 seconds to pull the trigger or I will kill him myself. Then he started counting 10. You didn't say, say, come on, Tenya. Come on. Say, come on. Tenya, pull the trigger. He, he's, he's unarmed. Here, I can, just one pull of the trigger, I can do. He's like eight, seven, six. And he started tearing up. He's like, oh, why is he tearing up? And he said, he said five, four, three, two, one. He went on his knees. Said, time's up. He put, bang, shot, staying in his head, killing him. He grabbed his pistol. He said, you're too weak. I knew you was all talk. You all bark. He went. He, he, take take native to a to a doctor. He shook a grapple hook out of there. He's like, ah, what what a what a shame. Suddenly, he he see Baka go fighting some few. Uh-huh. Well. No. Suddenly, suddenly, Red Hood shot the two, and he see he see the best genius knocked out. He was just suddenly Red Hood shot the guard, shot the guard, shot the two, the four the two goons, two no moves at the in the head like that was the easy. And suddenly Baco dashed towards the Red Hood. Was, say, I got. If I take care of you now, I'll probably get prayed by the by the pros. Like, the Zuku turn the sidekick Baka go in the chest and his back in his back, turn the over, aim aim the the gun in on his chest, near his ribs that if you scream if you scream or yell, I'll pull it I'll pull I pull this trigger to you I shoot you straight in your freaking spot in your Shoot you in the ribs. You better say not a single word. You think you could just take me out, huh? Even Rob, even Robin couldn't take me out. We think they got this guy. That guy was trained by the League of Assassins. What, what you? What you think a boy with an explosion quirk would do to me? And my hope and my suit is explosion proof anyway. And fire. So and cold resist. So you think you could just take me out and try and take me in <laughs> Don't make me laugh. So you gonna be a good boy and just save your t- save your internship and turn the boy's eye. Cause I'm about to get out of here. He was gonna say something he was like, no, 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 remember, I still got the the gun, the gun in your, on your, in your, at your spine, at your ribs. I could easily just pull the trigger, and 
They don't let you bleed out. You better think. You better think carefully. You don't want your dear mother to be, to be with our son, huh? don't you, Bob? You don't want your dear, dear old Miski, Mama Miski, uh, to, be, to be mother, to be son, sorry, or bear her own baby boy. Bob, I was like, how the hell you know my mom's name? Uh, I know everything about you, Bob, girl. Who the hell are you? Oh. When you get home, if you make it home, then I ask your mom about a woman named Inka Midori. <laughs> I catch you around, but he pu- then boom, he punched Bakugo in the face, grappled away. And the other pro found Bakugo and best genius, best genius knocked out and. And the two nomus have been killed. Then the deck, let's, two nomus have been killed. And and that's the end of the video. Hope you really hope you like this video. Hope you like, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure you post, the, press that bell to always be notified to my latest video. This has been your boy, the Hollow Panther. Wishing all my fellow Hollows a great day or night, just by timestamp. All right, peace.